everyone. I want to welcome you to today's Open Heavens Reflections. The Open Heavens Reflections are based on the Open Heavens Devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. My name is Akiola Shore, and by the grace of God, I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church Victory Centre in Southeast London. Before we go into today's um, reflections, I'd like to announce to you that the Open Heavens Daily Guide for year 2016 is out. So please get your copy as soon as possible. Amen. Our topic for reflection today is the way into his presence. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of John chapter 14, verses one to six. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way, you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. And how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Our memory verse is John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Our reflections for today. In Psalm 101, verse 7, the Bible says, I will not allow deceivers to, de to serve in my house, and liars will not stay in my presence. In Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 13, the Bible says of God, But you are pure and cannot stand the sight of evil. Therefore, those who love God must make a determined effort to turn away from evil, as God's eyes cannot look on what is evil. If you want to be in the presence of God, you must be free from sin. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22 says, Abstain from all appearance of evil. This means that we should stay away from those things that even appear to be evil. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 10 to 13, the Bible says, Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And who is he who will harm you if you become followers of what is good? Now, this means, this means that in all situations, we must seek to be the peacemaker and not to be found among the instigators or perpetrators of strife and quarrels. Peter continues to tell us in his letter that the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and he hears their prayers, whereas his face is turned away from those who do evil. I believe that all who are watching today want our prayers to be answered and for God to look upon us with favor. If that is the case, then let us then flee away from evil and pursue peace and holiness. Psalm 34 verse 14 says, turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. Have you turned away from evil? Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord in your life? Have you repented from all your sin and accepted his forgiveness? If that is the case, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 to 16, it says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Our action point for today. The blood of Jesus has made it easy to access God's presence. Therefore, be thankful and give him glory for it. Thank you so much for watching with us today. Until I come your way again, goodbye and God bless.